What is going on, friends? As you can see, I'm out front of the RTR lab. I know it's been a long time since we've checked in, show you guys what's going on, because we've been so busy. However, we figured out a way that hopefully starting now, we're gonna be able to do check-ins every month, every two months. I'm not committing to that, but we're gonna be doing more check-ins to show you all, all the fun that we have going on at the lab. We have too much cool stuff going on and I know you guys wanna see it. So we're gonna give you guys a catch up, show you what we've got going on. It's crunch time, getting ready for formula drift testing right now. Frankly, I'm a little bit nervous for the first time, but then I know how badass our team is. They're gonna get it done. So let's go check out what's going on. Make sure you guys leave a comment. Let me know what else you guys wanna see, what we've got cracking and popping here at the lab. Uh, let's get to it. Was I expecting to have to build him a brand new car? Nitrous, fuel injectors, go boom. There is a lot of work to do. All right, so obviously in the shop, uh, behind me, you've got uh, James's car going together, Ben's car going together, and uh, we'll go see what how progress is looking. Rest in peace to this hot rod. Not fully totaled, but as you can see, this is James's car. Was not expecting to have to build him a brand new car after just one year, uh, but that's just how drifting goes. Boys having fun yet? Am I? Why am I gonna like this one over all the others? Rear quarter glass is different this year. Yeah, what? Oh, dude, that is fire. So last year uh, we were all running eight stacks except for Chelsea. Chelsea was running this single, single intake plenum, and uh, we got more bottom end, more mid range. There wasn't enough time or priority in the season to transition all the cars, but this year, all the cars had this. So there's our RY45, our tried and true race motor, 455 cubic inches. It's basically FR9 NASCAR motor, unlimited effectively. Uh, another thing that we've done this year is we've added this massive oil cooler uh, to help with engine temps. We never had an oil cooler on the cars before, so we added that. The suspension is basically staying the same. Woo, look at this carbon. Trash has been working, dog. I mean, it looks so nice. I mean, this is just beautiful. Super lightweight, nice, nice stuff. Uh, obviously, right-hand drive for James. Awesome to see the wiring in here. Everything's mounted, pedal boxes, everything. Oh, we got RTR in the door. That's sick. Yeah. That's all, yeah. Adam's thinking more. Good, that's sick. And this thing's coming along. How you feeling, a week? Giffy, what's the, what's the vibe? Five check. I mean, it's, we got a week. Cars will be testing in a week. Okay. Ooh, go on the plate, boys. Yeah. So this is Chelsea's chassis from last year. No excuses, Ben. Championship winning car at your service. So already going set up? Ready. Ready. So this thing's ready to party. Set up, dyno, and then ready to go. Yeah, we also have a new front uh, substructure here. So what we had previously was a bit flimsy. We just didn't love it. So um, Wheezy, our fabricator here, has been doing an amazing job. You can see our uh, sweet new valve covers. We got some new branded valve covers, which I'm uh, super pumped on. Single can and filter, single intake, nitrous, fuel injectors, go boom, make power. And then uh, the other thing that's changed on all the cars is radiator. Uh, we've got new radiators for the cars. You know, even though we only run 30, 45 seconds, these things just get hot. There is a lot of work to do, period. There's a lot of work to do. That being said, I'm feeling very optimistic. James Carr represents our latest and greatest initiative. And mainly the big change is where we're putting the weight. We've had a lot of the weight hanging off the back of the car, right? Fuel cell uh, in the back. And now mid-season last year, we moved the nitrous. We were starting to change strategy, change how suspension was set up. So a little bit more weight in the middle of the car versus just over the rear axles uh, has proven to be better for us. We took that one step further with James' car. So we'll see how that works. And then ultimately what I believe is gonna be happening is that Ben will transition into that chassis. We actually were so busy here 
that we worked with Andy Seehausen, who was part of our team. He's James crew chief, and um, he's also an amazing fabricator. So we've had him come here and do some work for us in the past when we've been thrashing. And uh, for this year, we actually sent him the chassis, and then he worked along with um, our engineering team to develop out the move, and he did most of the fabrication uh, at his facility, and then it came here, and then we uh, did some final fabrication, and now we're doing final assembly. So, but you can see all the parts. So these would be taken out, getting inspected, probably new wheel bearings, new studs going on a majority of them. I'm just getting ready for the spares pile, for the car pile. What else we got? We got a list here for BMRS who comes in, they'll do all the plumbing. Uh, really cool being here in Charlotte. They've got mobile everything. You need headers made, you need exhaust made, you need plumbing done, you need wiring, people will show up. Uh, we have the capabilities to do this stuff in-house, but during thrash time like this, we need to rely on uh, some other labor. Hey, what you doing over here? Working on some new hair disc, dude. Did you design it and you install it, dude? Mm -hmm. Look at this All guy. All of the above. Look at this guy. Yeah. How old are you now? 21. 21. What's up guys, I'm Hayden Shepard. Uh, I'm one of the graphic designers for RCR Vehicles and Fun Haver. I think when he was 14, he came to Formula Drift, Texas. I just remember seeing this tall, skinny kid who I talked to online, but he was 14 years old, not, you know, his intelligence and his mindset was so much older. And so I remember just being shocked. I'm like, you're Hayden? Basically, I was playing Forza professionally at the time, Forza Motorsport, and uh, I was running ESDA, the um, eSports Drift Competition. At the time, I was basically the only person that was able to get the cars to three-wheel. Back in 2018, the cars were three-wheeling a ton. I went up to Vaughn and showed him, and he was like, wow, how'd you do that? Before the 2019 season, it was like in March or something, I was basically like, hey, do y'all want me to do the liveries in Forza because we're sponsored by Forza. And he was like, yeah, that's a great idea. So I got in touch with Lindsay, the creative director for RTR. Basically, that's how it all started. Eventually got into Assetto Corso, which is a PC simulator. And I started doing side gigs for Fun Haver. Around March of my senior year of high school, I got an offer letter. Three days after I graduated high school, I moved from Texas out here to North Kakalaki. And now I've been here for a little over three years now, enjoying every minute of it. Kid's design talent, his driving talent, his engineering talent, and his ability to transfer what he sees on the track to a driver's mindset is like unbelievable. So most of all, the livery stuff is complete, but right now I'm gonna start doing some aero discs. We got a new revised aero disc design. I actually didn't think that we would be able to top Vaughn's livery uh, last year. You know, with all the time that was put into that livery, we were like, let's just attempt and see what we can do. We came up with something that I think is one of the most radical, far out of left field designs I think we've ever had. I'm excited to show that. Trying to make the team shirts and suits and all that kind of flow with all of them has been the biggest challenge, but Old Benny boy, his car has actually went through a ton of different revisions. And what we landed on was kind of a simpler vibe, kind of doing some cool stuff with the carbon to expose it. Wanted to show that off, and I think what we're doing this year with that is um, pretty killer. So all three cars are still, they still have their own vibe. You know, you can differentiate the three, but there's some unison there so that they all look very RTR, if that makes sense. I'm, I'm very happy with it. So I'm excited to see y'all's reaction to it. And um, wow, I've never had to do this and actually have a conversation. This is kind of <laughs> difficult. <clears throat> Hopefully you guys have seen by now, we announced Ben Hobson as our new driver. Uh, I am so pumped for Ben to be joining RTR. He's an amazing personality, driver, and just a great person in general. He's gonna do amazing behind our car. If you guys have not seen it yet, check out my sit down with him. He came to the lab, hung out. He also stopped by and uh, checked out what's going on with the car, got a little bit of, uh, you know, final details around him, where the steering wheel is, check that. And he's also just team building with the boys. So uh, very cool. Um, you know, I don't know. Just rode up here. It's a four hour drive from my house. I brought my girlfriend up here. She's never been up here to the lab. So we got to bring her up here and show her around. And then and later on, we're gonna hang out with the boys, go to the dirt track, go up the mill bridge and watch some micro sprints. 
and you know, just hang out and head home tomorrow. So just a quick drop in, I don't know. It's cool here, like coming hanging out. So come see my car, you know. This just makes, I don't know, it makes me not want to come here because every time I see it, that's what I'm driving. So <laughs> I'm, ready, I'm ready to shred. So uh, yeah, I don't know, I just come up here, you know, get in touch, keep keep up with the boys, you know, come rip some crazy cards and uh, sorry, did I ruin your interview? You. <laughs> you didn't ruin, hey, you could never ruin it. Uh, you make it better. Fun havers, dude, that's what we do. And this is my chassis. Uh, this is the car that you guys last saw me smash in the wall at Irwindale. Damn it, I can't believe that happened. This car will be uh, put back together for me to run in Atlanta. So uh, I believe that it's been straightened. Uh, it was on the frame machine. And I do believe it's already been straightened because I can see they've already done some work to get, get the body, uh, get it welded up and plated up. Um, so we will get this hot rod ready for Atlanta and hopefully we can do what we did again last year and win that bad boy straight off the couch. So I want to take a second in this video to chat about what is the formula drift elephant in the room, qualifying changes. Uh, there's a lot of mixed feelings on it. I've been on the back end of this with formula drift uh, now for, for some time. And the mindset was really about the fans. You know, how do we make it more exciting? You know, qualifying is not that exciting. Given how good everyone's gotten, qualifying laps are pretty much very similar, at least for the top, call it 16 drivers-ish. You know, there's always that one outlier that would go and do something checker wrecker type deal. But this new format in which all drivers up to 24th in points are seated and already seated into their top 32 bracket. And then drivers above 24 have to battle it out for those final eight positions. Personally, I think it's, it's perfect. Uh, it's more tandem, it's more tandem practice. I love the idea of going into competition knowing who you're battling in your first round. That's like a huge new element, creates some cool new strategy opportunities. I also love the lack of pressure, right? Like it's, it's, it's a big pressure thing getting through the top 32. So as a driver, that weight being lifted and just being able to focus on practice and battle just changes the game. So now practice will be focused on tandem. You'll have a little bit better strategy. Hopefully you can battle your competitor a few times and um, it's gonna be way better for the fans. So for those of you that were on the fence, I would love to ask you kindly to give it a chance. And for those of you that are on board, I say welcome to the team. Speaking of welcome to the team, I am so pumped about the new year, what we've got going on the addition of Ben Hobson to the team. We've got James Dean will be our lead driver on the team. Brand new car, brand new chassis. We moved some weight around, did some things different with this car as a tester, which ultimately Ben will end up getting, uh, assuming it does everything that we hoped it would. I don't even think I've really even said this publicly, but I'm running Atlanta and Irwindale this year. Uh, very pumped for that. Very pumped to get back behind the wheel of our new Mustangs. They're just unbelievable machines and so fun to drive. And uh, I'd be lying if I didn't say I was a bit bummed about not being able to be with James and Ben all year. Uh, but my schedule is just uh, you know super tight, and I gotta you know pick and choose my priorities. Uh, you know, I'm a grown up, you know, what can I say? It's all very exciting and I'm excited to be team owner, teammate, 
and supporter from the sidelines and from behind the wheel this year. And uh, yeah, a lot going on, as you saw, right? We've got, the guys are just thrashing. I mean, there's gonna be people sleeping here in the shop and last year this happened and this year this is happening again. You know, previously we pride ourselves on being the team that's just calm, collected and ready to go, but it's been a thrash because we've just been so busy with other special projects and, and things like that. So is what it is. I'm very grateful to have the team here that is willing to put in the time, make the magic happen. And um, yeah, next video is gonna be an update and seeing if we're making it. Uh, cars are gonna get finalized, wraps will be going on, and then we'll be going to testing before we ship the cars out to Long Beach. That's the dream. I'm feeling like the guys can do it. We've all seen the RTR team do some amazing things. So uh, I don't have any doubts in this moment. And uh, I just can't wait to see these cars testing and James behind the wheel of his new car and Ben behind the wheel of his first Mustang RTR Spec 5 FD. It's gonna be amazing.